All right. Power on stall. So, so power on stall, what I've been finding is I set it up in the takeoff configuration because um, that's what you're going to be doing on a takeoff. You have flaps up. You're not taking off with half flaps or anything. We just take off flaps up all the time. If you check the checklist, it backs that up. So I go up, I take them up to 3,000, 4,000 feet above ground level. And it's stall characteristics. This is a beautifully stalling airplane. Um, when you stall this, you'll notice how easy and how gently it recovers. Um, so what I do is I get it up there. I have flaps clean. I verify that I'm set up completely like I would take off. So car beats cold, fuel pump on, all that good stuff. Um, maintain my heading. I'm pitching the nose up, pitching the nose up. It'll roll back through like 40 knots, and it'll get down to the 30s. I've seen it on a power on. I've seen it get down into like the low 30s before it stalls. And when it stalls, you hear the stall horn, and I just recover at the stall horn. I've just been having them. When the stall horn, when I, when I hear the stall horn go off, I have them say stall warning, stalling, and then they just lower the nose and, and get us out of the stall. And when I say lower the nose, you're not really putting any forward pressure. You're just releasing the back pressure you needed to stall. So you really have to try to stall the airplane. It's not stalling at like 50 knots or anything. It's stalling like mid to low 30s is what I've been finding. And then the recovery, it's just a really gentle, bring that back pressure, verify full power. And the biggest thing too on takeoff is verifying full power. I know in CFI training they always emphasize like keeping your hand on the throttle and departure. This one has a friction lock and if you don't have the friction lock set just right, the throttle will kind of back out on you. So if you're taking off and your hand isn't on the throttle, you're doing something really wrong and you need to just have the, the throttle firewalled until you're at a safe altitude or just firewall it and, and set the friction lock. But uh, yeah, that's the big thing there is setting the friction lock and then the power off stall is kind of the same thing. You'll just bring it to the stall, you say stall warning, just lower the nose, full power, car feet cold, flaps up, and that's the recovery. It, it recovers really nice, the stall is really nice. It doesn't, it's not going to surprise you. Cool.